Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me. Today I want to talk to you about an awesome new feature that just came out with Power BI Desktop as part of its preview release that came from the Microsoft Data Insights Summit. My name is Reed Havens, and I'm the owner of Havens Consulting, and I want to walk you through many-to-many -many relationships. You've been able to do this for a while now in Power BI through some kind of uh, more convoluted methods but they just released a direct compatibility with this that will simplify a lot of modeling types going forward. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a Power BI file that shows you the old way that it used to be done, and then we can walk through how to change that and use the new simplified way of implementing many-to-many -many relationships. So we have in front of us an example Power BI report that I made um, that's comparing sales versus budget and forecast. And it looks like a standard report, you got your um, tables and visuals and everything else here and all of your filters over on this side. But the thing that's special about this model and that some of you can probably relate to is that the the budget and forecast data is tied to a higher level than maybe the, the sales information is because every sale is attached to a specific product. But budget and forecasting does not go down to the individual product level. In this case, it goes uh, down only as far as the subcategory level. So let me show you that. I'm going to come over here to the relationship view. And you can see over in the upper left that I have a couple of tables connected together. The product table and the sales table maintain a direct connection. But the product table has this bridge table called product bridge that connects it to the budget and forecast table. And that is required because neither of those tables has a distinct key at the subcategory level. So to dial it back a little bit, let's discuss about the relationship types. In general, there are three relationship types you can make. There is the one-to-many relationship, which is almost always the most common you have, and that's the relationship between, say, the products table and the sales table. The less common one-to-one -one relationship, which means both tables are distinct. You don't see that relationship type particularly often. And then this third one that we're looking at in front of us right here, which is the many-to-many -many relationship. Now what you see in front of you is the only way to previously do that in Power BI. You would create a hidden bridge table between the two tables, and then both of them would connect to that because that is a distinct table. So product bridge has a distinct subcategory key, so product connects to that, as you can see here. Then product bridge also connects to budget and forecast. And the trick was to turn on one of these relationships. You can see those little double arrows right there. That creates a bi-directional relationship, meaning that now the information or the filter can flow from your product table to the bridge table and now all the way down to the budget and forecast table. Now, as I said, this is the old way to do it. So let me show you how easy it is to do this now with the new version of Power BI Desktop. Now, mind you, this is a preview feature, so it won't be available to publish or anything until October when it's finally released. But I just wanted to show you this because I'm super excited about it. So to make sure that it's turned on, if you want to do this in your own workbooks, you got to go up to the file menu. Go to Options and Settings, go to Options up here at the top, and under Preview Features, make sure that this checkbox next to Composite Models is checked. There's a lot of things that, um, that are included in this that I won't cover, but this will also turn on many-to-many -many relationships. All right, close this window. Now, to go ahead and implement this, all we have to do, I'm going to delete this product bridge table, because I don't need this anymore. Go ahead and delete that. Now, literally the only step that I need to do is my subcategory key, which is not distinct on my budget and forecast kit table. And the reason it's not distinct is because let's say subcategory one has sales in 2017. Subcategory one also had sales in 2018. So therefore it's not distinct on there. And of course there are multiple products within that subcategory. So it is not gonna be distinct either on my products table, hence that bridge table that was needed. But I can now just directly grab this, drag and drop it, connect it to my subcategory key up here. It's now created a relationship between the two. Now look very closely at the symbols. That's a mini symbol down here and this is as well. The asterisks indicate a mini side of a connection, yet it's still working directly. Now by default, it is turned on to bi-directional, but if we only want the product table to filter the budget and forecast table, we can double click it, and we can actually change cross-filtering direction from both to single, meaning product, filters, budget, and forecast. And you know, that does give you a little warning saying it's many to many, that's fine. 
I'm going to hit OK. There we go. Now that relationship wire is only pointing towards the budget table, so it's filtering the same way that the products table would filter the sales table. It's really easy to set up, and I'm super excited for this and a bunch of other features to be coming out in October. Now to close this off, I do want to say that this is a very much a development preview feature, meaning that if I tried to publish this file right now, I'm actually going to get a warning that says publishing is disabled. This file cannot be published to the Power BI service yet because it includes the preview features composite models. So you have a chance to test around with it as much as you want in Power BI Desktop. You just can't publish it to the service yet until it's um, finally released in October. But it is nice to be able to test it out in the meantime. All right. With that being said, I will see you in, your, in the next video. Please make sure to like this video or subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will hopefully see you then.